I'm not trying to do an ad here, but this thing keeps my coffee hot all day. I got it for Christmas from my wife. Fantastic. Ooh, the cold one today again. Oh, it just means it's going to be that much more fun, right? Minus 29. Oh, winter time is fun. So I'm going to figure out what I'm doing here. Looks like everybody else or a lot of other people have got their trucks running already, which is good. I might have to hop in a different truck today. Uh, or if not, if they don't got another truck for me today, maybe uh, I can go and give my wife a ride into Winnipeg. She has a an ultrasound, uh, a preliminary ultrasound for our IVF treatments that are coming up in the next few months. You'll hear me talking a lot about this in the next three months. It's a big deal. Uh, we've been building up to this for a long time. Yeah, well, it's a slow day today and everything is pretty much frozen up. Good news though, my truck 3006 is running again out of the shop and parked out in the cold. That's, I guess that's the bad news. <laughs> parked out in the cold again, plugged in, but tomorrow is supposed to be a warmer day. It's a slow day today, like I was saying, so I'm gonna go and uh, get my blood work done and bring Britt to her appointment. And uh, is there anything else I can get done today? I'm just gonna take this day to get stuff done because sometimes it's very hard to get things done when you work Monday to Friday because all the things you need to get done need to be done Monday to Friday. So it's nice to have a day to just get everything done like this. Off we go. Open, open. I guess I could have pushed my button. I have a button that opens it from further away, but it doesn't always work the best from this side of the gate. It's weird, it works great. I can open it from way down the road over there on that side, but this side doesn't work. I almost have to be right up to the gate. So I guess the sensor's on the other side or something. We can't leave town without our Timmies. Ah, oh boy, it's supposed to be warming up. We gotta head into the Winnipeg, head into the Winnipeg, head into Winnipeg right now. Uh, the, the fertility clinic that we go to is uh, like way in St. James, way on the west side of town. So it takes a good while to get there, probably a good hour, hour and a bit. So we figure we may as well Timmy up here. It makes the road trip a lot better. We got the goods, got the goods, and got the wife. Very important for oh, this. Oh, why not the goods? Very important to bring your wife to the fertility appointments. Crucial, they might say. Generally speaking, unless you want to carry the baby. Uh, I can try. I mean, it's 2022. Anything's possible. Anything. I could. I probably could. Probably. I don't probably want to though. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, all the stuff she's got to go through. Uh, what are we doing today exactly? Real quick just an ultrasound. I'm not really sure what it's for. I guess they're just checking to make sure everything's still good to carry a baby in there and implant. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Just like a preliminary, just a checkup, just checking things out. Got the five, first step. Alright, we got our Timmy's. It's time to go. We have arrived and I am in the official husband's waiting lot. This is where we wait. They don't allow us to go up there, which is, which is terrible. So for all of these procedures, unless if things change with the restrictions and stuff, all of these procedures, I can't even be there in the room with her up there. I have to wait down here in the vehicle. And this makes me kind of sad, but, uh, you know, what am I going to do in there anyways? Like, what, what can I do? It's just an ultrasound. For the, for the more invasive procedures that she's going to have to go through in the near future, like egg retrieval and... Uh, the transfer when they actually implant it or do their thing yeah I, I think i should be able to be there i mean i'm the other part of the equation right i know i'm may not this may not be the biggest role that i have to play in the equation i know but it's still my little baby that's going in there i feel that i should have a right to be up there and uh for that part of it anyways especially when she's going to be in a lot of discomfort and maybe pain. I'm not too sure how these procedures will go for her. 
just sort of like to be there, but they don't allow that. So that's that's a bit of a sad part, and that's the world we live in right now. So we'll make the most of it and do what we can, and uh, at least I'll be right here, right? Just just outside here. She's uh there, somewhere around there on that floor. Before this whole pandemic thing kicked off, uh, I was up there because we've been coming here to the fertility clinic for years. We've been trying for a long time. And I used to be able to go up there and be there with her through all of these, but uh, things are different now. So it is what it is. We'll wait till, uh, oh, maybe that's her. She can at least let me know how it's going. And you know, if uh, any terrible things were to happen, which is very unlikely and very rare, I'm just right down here in the parking lot close as I can get. We'll wait to see uh, what she has to say when she comes down now. The Christmas decorations are slowly coming down. Got the boxes there for some. Got the signs in the back here turned to the regular home sweet home. So we made it home. Uh, the appointment I think went really well. She seemed really happy when she came down the stairs or down the elevator. It was great. What they what the doctor say? I have ten big eggs, and that's without any medication. So he thanked me for having such beautiful ovaries. It was a little awkward, but I like my doctor. What a nice doctor! He's a nice guy. He <laughs> really knows how to give a lady a compliment. So uh, well, yeah, so it sounds like our IVF is going to be more on the. I don't want to say cheaper end because it's definitely not cheap, but on the slightly less cripplingly expensive end. Yeah, it might be. It looks like it could be up to $2,000 less than what they had predicted. I certainly hope so. Even less than that would be great, but... But I guess they gave us the high-end estimate, yeah. so we might not need everything, which is super nice. Yeah. She seemed so, really happy. And I think it was 10 follicles, right? Not 10 eggs? Or is it the same thing? It's the same thing, yeah. What do I know? It's just that the strongest one will survive. Oh, Whereas okay. they're going to give me medication, not this this time around, but next time, I guess. They're going to give me medication so that none of them die off and they just continue to grow. Might be a little bit painful, but I'm I'm fine with pain as long as we get a baby out of it. And they're going to give you a little bit of meds to maybe get more I too, hope. right? Yeah, it'd be nice to get like 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, 15 to 20 eggs and then they harvest them. Oh, they give her medication, right? To make sure that they don't kill each other, that they all... Yeah, like that mature. They die off, so that they all mature. And then they go in there and retrieve them. Harvest them. Uh, yeah, I thought retrieve was a nicer word to use, but yeah, they harvest them. They harvest me like a crop. So she's. I'm not looking forward to that, and I don't even gotta go through that. But well, we're gonna have a baby. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But by this time next year, we could be parents. Hope so. That'd be so nice. It all looks promising, and they said your body all looks healthy. So her body looks all healthy, go. ready to go. My body and my guys are all healthy. I haven't touched alcohol in seven months now, just to, I, I still drink coffee though, I'm sorry. I'm going on sorry. three months and no alcohol. Yeah, so we're doing all we can <laughs> to boost our fertility. We, we don't really know what's uh, getting in the way of us. No explanation, but uh, mm. I told my doctor we're only nine days into the new year and I'm already sick of green vegetables. I've been loading up my body with veggies and healthy snacks in attempts to make it a healthier temple, a healthier breeding ground, if you will, but I'm sick of veggies. <laughs> I just want cheeseburgers and pizza. That's all I want. That's why I married her. That's what, that's what I want. That's all I want to eat too. That's why we get along so well. That's why I gotta <laughs> force us both to eat salad. Yeah, so. and she does. That's your new sweater you got today. He spoiled me, he took me out shopping. Afterward. Yeah, we went to the new mall. I don't know if you're familiar with Winnipeg at all. There's a new mall in Tuxedo. An outlet mall. It's an outlet mall, yeah. I learned what an outlet store is today. It's not a regular store. It's a different kind of cheaper store, but it's, it's like still a regular store. But it's cheaper. too much money. Yeah, we went there. <laughs> we found the lint store, like the chocolate lint store. You should have seen them light up like a little kid. We should have brought you guys along, but we didn't think to bring the camera in. I'm so Shut sorry. Up. You should have seen his face. Where like are a they? kid in a candy store. They're right there. So that's they, all that's left. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I took my two up and put them in my candy dish, but... Mango, strawberry, and coconut. So good. 
they are good. Yeah, other than that, we went, uh, she got some clothes, uh, and some works. Bath and Body Works, soap got some and lotion soap and lotion. And, and what did I get? I got new shades. Sunglasses. You want to see them? They're polarized. I'll Very fancy. They tried to sell me on a, a second pair for 10 bucks. Nope, couldn't budge me. So they sold me on a $10 case instead. Got them? Here's oh. The goods. Oh. And the case looks so nice, too. It's it's fancy. I have a problem with the, in the semi truck, my glasses always falling all over the place and getting scratched and wrecked. And never have a good place to put them. I've never had a case before. So 10 bucks. Oh, I still got the little. See? I'm not lying to you. Polarized. One sec, I gotta get the little sticker off there before I do the the fashion show for you here. Huh. There we go. Alright, you guys ready? You guys ready? How do I look? That's my husband. Polarized. One payment. Genuine polar bear. Genuine polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> These are actually darker than my other ones that I've had. So, uh, I'll have to get used to that. Oh, and when you fold them up, ah, uh, you see how they, they rest on the rim? My other ones would rest on the lens itself, and then it would scratch the inside whenever you folded them up. Uh -huh. Solve that problem. These were from a kiosk in the middle of the mall. Uh, probably a, a little overpriced, but hey, we were going wild. They are like 35 bucks plus tax. But the case was 10 bucks, right? Always getting the, the, the deals, the bargains. So that was our day. So we just got home now. We did a little bit of grocery shopping as well. Filled up the fridge. And now gonna make dinner. Make dinner? What are we having for dinner? Uh, we're having some of Auntie Mary's homemade pesto sauce. Okay. With pasta, shrimp, and tomatoes. Mm. And Parmesan cheese. Alright. Sounds delicious. That is a weasel butt. That's a weasel tail. Is that the, the diesel weasel? Is it the diesel weasel? Look at that. It's him. Yeah, that, that's my brother. This is a Chevy. Diesel, how you doing? Doing doing very nice, man. What you what you talking? It's my bed. You're not gonna tell me to get off the bed now, are you? It's my bed. Hey everybody, I just wanted to quickly hop on here at the end here to say thanks for watching. I messed up my camera settings, as you might have noticed in this video and the uh the low light wasn't as good as usual that was my fault i didn't realize i had bumped a button with these gopros on the back it's a big touch screen and if i just accidentally like reach around and just bump it with one of my fingers once i don't always notice it if i'm not paying close enough attention so uh i apologize for that the low light was a little bit bad and I'm uh, adding this in in the future i think tomorrow's video has actually got the same issue i didn't realize it for a couple of days Hmm. But hey, you live and learn, right? We do these every day, so there's bound to be mistakes here and there. And it's it's a it's a vlog, which means it's a story channel. It's a video blog, uh, so it's my thoughts being thrown out there onto the internet, and then we can have a conversation about them down below in the comment section there. And uh, that's that's sort of what I've made my channel about here. So if you want to know more about me, again in the description of this video here, I just wanted to say hey, thanks for watching. Please, uh, if you want to do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed. There's a lot of you that I've uh, noticed aren't subscribed. You've been watching for years. So, what's up with that? It's free. <laughs> Subscribe, and it, it does help with the algorithms. Leave a comment down below if you want to help me out. And, uh, hey, I hope you have a great day. I've got a message.